And we're back. She's still leaning. She's, yeah. See, she's leaning on that throne chair there. She's just like, what do you want, King God? I'm busy. Lean beef? Lean beef. Lean she's, she's, well, she is mad at him. She, she has a beef with him, yes. Yeah. There are... Whoa, we must create a criminal justice system in this kingdom to do away with such fiends. We must we create must. a criminal justice I like that system. usage of the word fiends as well. <laughs> it makes it sound like some 90s movie, like, we must do something about this. Like, you'd, like you'd see that in like some sort of like 90s movie. Like, like, this was really launched like, in, 90, in 90, 90. 95. Somebody fucking post in the comments whether this is 95. And I know it's 95. I don't know. I, th I'm, I know it's 95. 95 is a good year. Uh, are we doing another giveaway thing? You get a... You get a picture of a dog from Google Images. <laughs> Damn right, okay, and it'll be a surprise dog. <laughs> are, are, this we... is Frog's theme, by the way. <laughs> Playing, but now it's not. Now it is not. There's a Step Mania file. For Step Mania is. Step Mania. Step Mania is a good game. Like I said earlier, if you haven't played Step Mania, you should. This is a good game. Holy shit, it's Marl! Marley, Bob Marley, Meryl, Malari, Malaria. Marl. Princess what if it's Marla? Marla? Marla. 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 Because it's like, because it's like, like when you say L, like when you say L in French, right? Like, Le. Le. Marla. Le. Le. You know? So it'd be like, Marla. Who you just call her like, s s s Sam? What if you like, give her like a really slutty name because she's blonde? <laughs> What's a really slutty name? <laughs> I don't know, like Stacy or something. That's not that slutty. Candy. <laughs> well, that's just a stripper's name. I once knew a stripper named Candy. Was she a strip? Never mind. <laughs> By yes, Justin. She was actually a stripper. <laughs> yes. Contrary to popular belief. You, you, should, be, you should be saying this to me right now. Not minus the chrono. I didn't mean to deceive you. Thank you. I was heavily deceived in... I'm Princess Nadia, my father's King Guardia, the... 33rd? 33rd. There you go, do some math! No, because I haven't We're... read... I haven't read numer Roman numerals in this fucking SNES-ass lyric, well, like, fucking text here. Do some... This is some fucking... The three R's, man. Reading, writing, and arithmetic. It's like, Z! <laughs> like Marl better than Princess. Anyway, the real queen. Oh, oh, dude, they gotta read that shit. Oh, oops. You're a terrible person. I would go back if I could. Okay, it's too late. Sorry. They need to read this dialogue, man. They... Like, this is this is a two-part experience. Like it's us playing this game. Yes. And cracking shitty jokes. We're the well, worst jokes. But we did, we have discovered that this is a farce. Yeah. So we 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 are cre we, This is this is a form of theater. If I ever submit this as part of my portfolio. Hey, you're you're in a you're in drama <laughs> class right now. You should submit one of these episodes. The, the episode to which we describe farce. We should, we should. We most definitely should. You should. And then I can fucking frog sting. Man, a frog is so badass. Froggy. You weren't such a bad guy either. Do 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 do
I thought, I thought you wanted to do like a duet thing and I was like, I'm not a part of that. But then I realized you were like in your own world while we, you were singing that. I was I was waiting for you to join. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I thought we were doing like a solo each and then that was going to be it. Jesus, fuck! These fucking things. It's the circus freaks again. That was the one, th that was actually, you know, now that I think about it, like that was the one thing that really bothered me about like when you went to the forest areas. Is that they always stopped you? They always, always came back and said, fuck off. You're not my dad. What a foot of the bar. What? Your dad. What a f <laughs> No, no, you didn't. Like, I can't hear you. What? What? A <laughs> okay, never mind. Just fucking ask the question again. I was. But speak the fuck up. I, I was saying that they would. What if what? What? What if one of them was your actual father, biological? There was blood tests and shit oh. involved. Okay, well, how would they get the blood test from a pixelized character? It's just a what-if scenario, man. I don't, I don't, I don't, I just, I just tell you about the- Then I would probably, I probably wouldn't be able to kill them in game. Because I'd, I'd be killing my dad. That's heartwarming. I would just turn off the game. I would I would live in a world where me and my father coexist without me killing him. That, that's, that's It'd be the opposite of Star Wars. It's touching. It is. So you heard about J.J. Abrams uh, directing Episode Seven, hey? Is he? Yeah. Oh, J.J. Abrams, really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, and like. You didn't hear about that? I didn't hear about that. I did know that they were making an episode 7. Yeah, I know, because Disney took over. But... Yeah, I, however, I did not know that J.J. Uh, yeah, no, well, Abrams was making... Was directing, I should say, rather, the that episode. Yeah, no, it was like... A lot of people are like... There's like a lot of apprehension in what everyone thinks about it. Because like, some people are like, Oh, this is so good! And other people are like, Oh, fucking no, this is a good idea. But like, not too many people are being vocal about it, right? Because like Star Wars is like pretty. It is. However, okay. To be honest, I'm a little bit happy that Disney did buy out. Not going anywhere, I think, is my point. Like, they were making so many stupid... Just side things that were, I found, were to be dumb. The games... I don't know, like... Okay, the... What was it? The Force Unleashed? It was... It was alright, but... Oh, I really did. Like, I didn't mind them. They were pretty fun. But... Just, there was nothing that was just major that was contributing to the site, as opposed to it just being a money whore. Oh yeah, no, all of them were definitely, like, obvious money grabs, like, even, like, even, like, although it's, although it's a fun game, like, even the pod racing game for the N64 was definitely, like, a money grab. Well, all of it was. And the fact that Disney is buying it over, and as soon, and as, soon as they do, they announce that they're continuing the main storyline, the thing that made it popular to begin with. Episode 7. Yeah. I think that's fantastic. And... What the fuck are they gonna build upon, though? Like, it's like... Uh, th that's a good point. I don't know what they're going to build upon, but I do have faith, because when Disney bought out Marvel, yeah. Marvel became, like, tenfold better than what it was already. Well, some would, some would argue that, but... Yeah, no, I see, I'm I talking. See. I'm talking about like the, more the movies and making it more um, mainstream, I guess you could say, because you know there it was a very niche well, following the Marvel yeah, no, franchise. It's very, it's very like it was very niche. Like it was those yeah, who no, it's who, got a very devout following. Like. Exactly, that's exactly it, and it didn't really allow for many people who <laughs> weren't familiar with the franchise to get into the franchise. Yeah. So when Disney bought it out and started making all of these big budget films and with big actors and. Mm -hmm. You know, everything. And, you know, I know um, Iron Man had already was already out at that point with um, Robert Downey Jr. So that was a good start. But mm -hmm. when they made The Avengers, that was phenomenal. I 
I I know some people didn't like the Avengers, but I thoroughly I thought, it was okay. I, thought I thoroughly enjoyed that movie. Like, don't get me wrong. I think Avengers is like 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 in terms of like a superhero hero, superhero movie. Like yeah. definitely like one of one of the best. I would have to it's, say it's pretty damn appealing. Yes, but like if we're talking like an actual movie itself, right? Like if we if we were to judge it as like a piece of cinematography, it's not like that. Wonderful. It's not the it's no cinematography wise, it's not the most amazing thing I've ever seen. However, it was fucking pretty. Oh no! The so visual the, effects that they did in the in that film were astounding. And the choreographed fights were really damn. Oh, good. they were great. But like I don't know, like and with terms, especially like, with all the, like the budget, like the huge names in it. I mean, I well, actually kind of want to know what the budget of that film was, but. It's, it feels like a really simple movie, though. Like, it feels it feels simple in that it's just like, All right, here we are. We got all the heroes. All right. Fucking... What's his... What, um, Thor's brother. What's his name? Loki. Again? Loki. Like, he starts causing shit, and then it's like, Okay, so there's the antagonist. Right. And then there's, like, all this other shit. Like, it just... It seems like... It seems like... The story itself is really like it feels very plain and very like it is okay unoriginal like, like it is when it, you it strip was... it down it's really unoriginal okay i agree in that sense that it is very unoriginal in that there is a basic villain heroes and you know pretense and like rising action climax conclusion exactly end. like it feels it feels like though it, and you do, can and you can really tell when it gets to those moments in the movie we do have to keep in mind though is that one it is based off of the comic book yeah and two it is just a superhero movie because yeah. what are superhero movies aside from that yeah I, no i know what you mean it's just like when people like when i hear people say like oh yeah it was a really good movie. Like, it's such a good movie, you know? Like, when I think of a good movie, I think of, like... Like, if we were talking about superhero, I guess. Like, Watchmen, I thought was really good. You liked Watchmen? Yeah, no, I really liked it. I would have to say I'm indifferent about it. Yeah. Like, I know, I know some people didn't like it so much. But I know some... Like, I know I, know I definitely loved it. Like, as, like, but then again, I didn't, I didn't read the original graphic novel. Oh, you didn't? Okay. No. See, I think the reason why I'm indifferent about it is that I try not to hold um, the comic book to the movie whenever yeah, I, I watch a movie version of a comic book. Yeah, I know. But the thing, the thing about Watchmen was that like they were really like pushing that like in their marketing that it was like it was supposed to be really replicated. Yeah, and I think that may have been the reason why <coughs> I'm I'm not a total fan of it. Is that because it wasn't that? Yeah. But. I was going to make a valid point, but I can't remember what I was going to say. Um, That's what happens when you play Chrono Trigger. Yeah, no kidding. This game is just so amazing. I'm flabbergasted. By the way, we're 13 minutes in, and we are like so fucking excited. This is a this is a good point to end this episode in that we've returned Marl slash Princess Nadia back home into the regular present day of AD 1000. 1000 AD, whatever. Yeah. And that all is happy. That that's pretty fucking happy. That's happy. So let's end this. <coughs> and you are still sick. Yeah. No. You should get better. I should. And then next time it'll be really fucking good. All right. While we had fun, we're gonna come back to this. We love you. <laughs>